When you come from nothing, you want to fucking show motherfuckers that you're not shit too. Yeah, because yeah. they think you're shit. They think you're shit. Yeah, you're from. You have a great story. Would you mind telling my uh, our listeners and my husband your whole story? I oh my it. god. Yeah. I so I grew up in China in the '90s. There's in, the one child policy in northern China. Northern yeah. China. My mother was afraid I would be a girl, so she <laughs> had me in the hospital, in the home, at, at my home. So yeah. just in case I was a girl, so they can get rid of me. Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> they would never have a child, so they can be having another one, yeah. hopefully the boy. And my father was taking me out, and my mom just, uh, she just feel like, you know what? She's ugly, but she's a fighter. She cried, you <laughs> dropped her, like she didn't die. I, if she didn't die, after you drop her, maybe she's not gonna die, you know, I'm gonna keep her. Yeah. So she kept me, but she made sure I know it every day. That, that you... <laughs> Yeah, I'm like she. Not I'm, a prize. I'm from the dumpster. She saved my life. She's my hero. So that's why, like, I for the longest time, I have no patience for weakness. Like, I was in yeah. school in Kentucky. My friends are like, my mom is a bitch. She did not come to my ballet recital twice in yeah. middle school. Yeah, I'm like, because you are a fat bitch. You are not a ballerina. <laughs> if you were good, she'll be there. But look at you. We found her the money. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> My mom is a hero. Like she brought me back from the dumpster, even though my penis was missing. Can you yeah. imagine? <laughs> yes. Like, why are you complaining? Yeah. <laughs> but what I love yeah. about you is that Zhao Ying wanted to come to America so bad that she went to Kentucky. I went to Kentucky. Was your okay? Was your vision of what it would be anything like what it became? <laughs> no. Well, you imagined like the promised land? Like, yeah, I imagined the Hollywood movies. Yeah. I watched, uh, you know, Audrey Hepburn, Marilyn Monroe, and uh, Halle Berry. And you're like, that's America. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then I went to the cousin land. Like, I just, I didn't understand it, what is going on. Were you depressed when you got here? I mean, I, 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 I'm happy. I'm, I'm not with my mom anymore, so that's good. <laughs> yeah. Mm, but I did not become hot. Because I was slouching, I was not confident. I tried to cover my big face with my hair. I was just hiding around in the corners. But I was very good at math, and I was tutoring oh. mathematics and. Uh, oh, I thought you said I was good at math. Well, I should try that too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But you were good at math, and you were math. Yeah, I was doing kids. tutoring okay. math, and I was making money. And uh, then I met a, a model girl who started teaching me makeup. Oh. Then I, I'm a painter, so I start doing makeup for people. I okay. don't know how to do it, but I know how to draw shit on their face. Yeah. So I just start doing putting flowers on those like uh, butterflies on their face. So I start making money doing yeah. makeup. I start trying to look like a woman. Then I decide to become a girl. <laughs> I I start showing my face, stop slouching, and yeah. uh, I just uh, become a pretty girl. Yeah. yeah. Out of the blue, it was crazy. Did you date American men? Yes, I had my first boyfriend, a Kentucky guy. Kentucky boy. How was that? Um, I think he's just like a, he wants to learn Chinese from me. I think that's what he, he wanted did. to learn. Yeah. Learn Chinese. That's really? Because he wanted to go to J Japan and his visa was rejected. Then he's like, yeah, okay, I'm just going to try China. Try China. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know, he wants to go to China. He wants to speak Chinese. You know, my sister speaks Mandarin. That's amazing. Um, and that, that's useful. Your face mm -hmm. right now is exactly like I've told this story before. So she joined <laughs> the, uh, the Navy and went to the language Institute and then they do hardcore, like eight hour a day classes, like five, six days. Like these people are heavily immersed. So I saw her after a, a break and we went to a restaurant and the, it was one of those like, you know, the Japanese, but they just take any Asian. They're like, you're Japanese. Mm -hmm. So he's chopping it up, doing it. She starts speaking Mandarin. This guy fucking drops the thing. He was like, what? And he couldn't believe that she could actually, he was like, he starts telling, he goes, I have never met a white person that speaks Mandarin. And she just, he couldn't even cook. He was like, like frozen because she was just going back and forth with him. And he was like, oh my God, I've never, he called other people over. Yeah. To see it. Yeah. She's like a, a giraffe in the zoo. It's just, yeah. Yeah. It's it was crazy. Amazing. Also, like if you are um, anything other than uh, Asian, you go to the Great Wall, you are a celebrity. Really? Yes. Really? Yeah. Like if we have a guy who is a white guy, look at you, they will think he's Tom Score. He can make money taking photos with them. <laughs> People just, uh, I, I, it's crazy. Everybody think all Asian look alike. Yeah. But yeah. like my mom, she'd be watching the Olympics. Like, why are they the same? Like, what? Oh, oh, they're all the same. All the white people are the same. All the black people look the same. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, so wait, Asians think we all look the same? Yeah. Oh, See, that's doesn't so it make cool. you feel better. They though? think you are Margot Robbie. You can go there and <gasps> make money um, just taking to. photos. Just a blonde. Yeah, you should go that do that. You also so have yeah, the bone yeah. structure, so you oh, guys so will be familiar, similar, similar. Well, I remember when I went to South Korea, I felt like a giant because I was like, I, like I went to go bra shopping and I was like, dude, like 
half of my one of my tits can fit into these bras. They're so they're just tinier. They have because like, being a double zero, uh, being a skinny hoe is popular in Asia yeah. because when your husband beat you, you can't run away. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're too weak. You're too weak. It's very smart. Yeah. American men learn. Yeah. 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 <laughs> don't encourage women to have curves just make starve them but they did like blonde hair I remember people yeah. look oh, they wear cat, blonde. they wear eye contact to have blue hair blue eyes blue, blue eyes, eyes to, look, to look white if wow. you see the, see the K-pop you know all of yes. the pretty skinny like pretty skinny white looking blonde hair people are kissing in the front yes. all the yeah. dark thick bitches mopping the floor in the back <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And, but that is so true that Asians, because I was friends with some Japanese girls in college and they were like, oh, I'm so fat. I'm so fat. But they weren't like they were like twigs yeah. and they would take hot baths to try to like steam out the fat. I'm mm -hmm. like, you're not even I must be obese. You must think I'm a disgusting pig. I, they, but they shame you, too. They right? shame you. They'll tell yeah. you. Like yeah. they walk to you and pinch you. I was uh, at Cosmo. <laughs> they were like, uh, you are so brave. You know, you would. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, are you sure you don't want to, you know, you don't want to, us to make his, you skinnier during the Photoshop? I said, no, I'm okay with this. You're like, you are okay? You really learn to love yourself too much in America. <laughs> <laughs> we'll handle it in post. Don't worry. You won't look like this Oops. later. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah. It's going to look different. That yeah. is fucking hilarious. They shame you into it, right? Like, yeah. doesn't, does your mother tell you, like, when you have babies, like, right after, like, oh, you better thin down yeah she's like yeah. Uh, you just had a baby and you gained 30 pounds i'm like i just had a baby she's like yeah. our dog big yellow has three puppies <laughs> 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 she's back to normal you three days fuck dude holy shit so, so you were in kentucky you have a white boyfriend how long did that last for uh it, it lasts like i think long for a year was he romantic he was young and he was he, he was a virgin i was a virgin and uh, he was uh, Sweet? I think he was just, he was kind of sweet, but then he was cheating on me and I found <gasps> out uh, he oh. went to law school and in, in Virginia and then I'm, I'm a Chinese woman. I went, I log in his Facebook. I have his account. He doesn't know I have it. <laughs> we have a family phone plan. I can log into his phone. I have, I copied another, like, I have everything. Yeah. I know yeah. how many times they text, what they text and I hacked into his Facebook. I know yeah. everything they're saying is a girl from England and <gasps> he's like, no, we never did anything. I said, you are fucking. And I know it. Uh, I'm calling off the engagement. He's like, are you kidding me? Well, you were engaged. Yeah, we were engaged because, you know, you need a green card. So <laughs> I, I just uh, dumped him. Good for you. And what, but what happens to your status at that point? I was a student and okay. uh, I, it was fine. I, I just, uh, I was working in Japanese restaurants owned by Chinese people that's, in Kentucky. Yeah, of course, there you go. The, the Chinese own Japanese restaurant because that's how we, you know, feel better. We are better than them. We can control the sushi chefs. Yeah, <laughs> they spit in the sushi, so don't go to a Chinese restaurant. The Japanese restaurant owned by Chinese men, because the sushi chef. They Who's spit. your biggest like beef with in the Asian world? Which country? I, I think, I think I, I, I don't like uh, the Indians. The Indians, because the, because they they don't show their anger. Oh, they they are more vicious than Chinese. Really? Ooh. Yeah. The but Indians, they don't show it. They don't show anything. Chinese will be like, oh, uh, I don't like how you treat me like this. I don't like the Asian hate. I don't like this. The Indians, you can say whatever you want to me. As long as I'm getting the money, I'm winning or lose. They, they actually have, I don't know. They, like they, super stoic super, about it. Yeah, yeah. They actually are like just more smart about it. They mm. just don't get affected. The Chinese people would reject the job because they got insulted. The Indians don't give a fuck. Mm. They'll take the job, make the money and tell you, fuck you later. Mm. Wow. I think that's what is going on with the Indians. Let me ask you this. Most importantly, back when you were growing up in China, did you have Chinese boyfriends? Were, are you allowed to date or is it I more wasn't serious? allowed to date. Also, nobody wanted to date me because I wasn't pretty. So they just uh, look at me. I, I had a boy. I read poetry. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. China's You're weird. very pretty. Yeah. For, I think like after like, I guess I got confident and I start to like become a girl but before I just I found out I was ugly I just give up I cut my hair real short I was wearing sports clothing you're like I I'm was, never gonna have a man I, I, I was popular though for setting exam exam uh, answers um, you sold I, your exam answers yes I have a business I basically I have a phone and I sell to subscribers <gasps> 
to buy my answers. You are so. This is what That's, I love. About I was yeah. popular. Everybody want my number. All the guys want my number, and uh, I have a service of homework. Also, I, ha I hired four or five people to do homework for lazy bitches, and I also this sell is, answers. Listen, this is cool. Jiang, for exams. she's gonna rule. Show yeah, this business. is cool. I like. You're this. fucking such this a go getter, dude. I want to be popular. Thank you. I will be yeah. popular. I wasn't. I I can be popular other ways. I wasn't pretty. Fuck that. I just become yeah. popular yeah, because I was a bad bitch. Yeah, but you found your way. Yeah. But yeah. like, but that's admirable. That's, People like me. Yeah. They, everybody want my number. People want to hang out with me because yeah. uh, that's how they can, know they that can you're smart and you're a hustler. Yeah. Yes, I yeah. hustle. Mm -hmm. yeah. I that's, love that. That's, that's going to serve you really well for sure. In, in comedy, right? Yes, absolutely. I sell scorpions too. In one of the biggest. <laughs> one of the biggest. <laughs> just sell scorpions. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I took the kids to the mountains to catch scorpions under the rock, and I sell it to the Chinese medicine store. They put scorpions in alcohol. Oh, it's right. good for your dick to get hard. Yeah. yeah. So Do you have any with you? I, I can go to my hotel room and get some. Okay. It's, it's good. Scorpion alcohol get your dick hard, and yeah. it's so expensive. So I have uh, all the fat guys to put the <laughs> yeah. rocks for me. Wait, use chopstick to catch them, put in the drawer, and then we sell them. I would get 90% of the money. I give them $10. They buy firecrackers and the candies. <laughs> Dude, I would love to gift the staff some scorpion. Yeah, can juice. you hook us up? Please? Yeah. You know what I love about you too is that my immigrant mother, she's dead now, but they're so brutal to us. And I, I love that you you have this mom that just abuses you. She won't stop. And you just, but, but she. She made you kind of successful, right? For sure. made, she didn't make That's you. Part, I think so. It's, it's how you, well, it's how you reacted to your mother. Yeah. yeah. People some people would have a mother like that and they just go, I'll just I'll Become just a heroin addict. You know, I'll yeah. I'll be what you say I am. And then uh -huh. some people go, I gotta do something about it. You know? Yeah, I, I just feel like the mom the way my mom treated me uh, helped me to prepare the way the world treat me. And uh, mm. I would react to the way that I, I think of how my mom, I, I'll be like, okay, you think I'm a loser. That's cute. I will show you who's daddy. There you go. That's what <laughs> you know? I'm talking about. But cute. this is why this will serve you in common. The big problem <laughs> for a lot of comedians yeah. is they do, they, they're funny. Uh -huh. They lack all hustle. So what happens is time goes by and you're like, yeah, that guy or that girl, they're really funny. And like, what, how come nothing's going on for them? And it's like, because they have zero drive to like, you, you have to have the creative stuff, which is the comedy, but they have no creative like drive to achieve. They, they, don't, they just don't, they're like, well, I'm funny. That should just be enough. Here's the thing. It's not enough. It's not no. enough. Or they it's don't learn enough. the business. No. You have to money. have the hustle factor yeah. on top of the comedy if you want to progress. After one month, I did a stand up. I was doing open mics. I realized there's not enough time. I want 10,000 hours. So I bought my comedy club on Melrose. She bought her own comedy club, Tom. Amazing. I drove by. I see a clothing store that's um, for lease. I went inside. They have ugly clothes. So I said, lady, just give me this. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna make it into something else. So wow. So I ran it into a, a comedy club. It's like an open mic place. Yeah. But, and then on weekends, we have four, sh like four shows a weekend. I got it a month after. I I mean, I did I start comedy in December, and I bought it on January. It opened in two weeks. Wow. I hired an Asian guy to that's why yeah that's why yeah. yeah that's why it was taiwanese guy though he's slow if a chinese guy mainland yeah. one week taiwanese people <laughs> the moment they, they get some freedom they got lazy you know he's like taking lunch breaks i'm like honey you don't take lunch breaks you're asian <laughs> <laughs> typical taiwanese I bullshit like, yeah. i'm like no you don't you don't have lunch you do you get serve drinks and food there or? uh we are getting a beer wine license i'm nice. applying i'm gonna take over the next store uh to knock it down and just make it bigger it's because you need to sell alcohol to make it real money. You do. That's, that's what yeah. I'm saying. That's when everything will change. I was thinking, I'm keeping the club. I need to make more money to yeah. keep it. So I, I want to, so I'm buying that. That'll change your, your profit margin for Dude, sure. I think so, yeah. Not only is she a club owner and she's doing movies, she's in Cosmo magazine. She's she's a mother of two small children. Yeah, that's. I'm a single nice. mom. The, the husband left. You know? I can't believe that, dude. So he, wait. He got to know me. He's like, no. <laughs> after, after Kentucky guy. Uh -huh. You are single again. Yeah. Do you date another American? Yeah, I I married my uh, college sweetheart. Oh, he's, you did. Okay. Yeah, he's a uh, he's two years younger than me. Mm -hmm. He's Russian American, very <gasps> very. Oh, wow. But he was like he came here when he's four five years old. So he's pretty American. He's like my first uh, true love. But I was Aww. a stupid bitch. I just I'm <laughs> like I don't want to have babies. I want to be famous and successful. Yeah. Before I have kids with you, so it's not gonna happen. Then I just feel like I want to I want my career so much. I didn't know I can have both. 
Yeah. I did not know that with the right man, you can have both. So that's the only right man. I, I just, uh, we, we drift apart. I decided to move to Hollywood. He came to UC Irvine for science. He's a biochemist. So we were living together. I'm like, no, I need to move in Hollywood to become an actress. So we, we had a distance. And then I was not smart enough to know that's the man who truly loved me because he mm -hmm. always encouraged me and he always believed in me. He never really pressured me, but I just feel like, why are you so nice to me? Something's wrong with you. Mm, you're because, not used to that love. Yeah. So now I'm like, oh my God. Do you ever have contact with him or no? I think he's traumatized by me, but uh, yeah. he's in Denver. I may go there. Or he has a g girlfriend or fiance, but I don't think they're getting married anytime soon. Yeah. yeah. No, also, she her. could die. I hope so. Yeah. She's a biochemist. You know, never know. Something you just never know what could go lab. wrong. Yep. Yeah. She could get pushed off a mountain. Yeah. Go uh, see if she likes hikes. Can you hikes. do that, Mark? <laughs> Nice. There's no cameras up there. I'll tell you that. That's nice. So then you met so, the other guy after. Oh my and that's god! Your baby dad. I was off. I went to China to host the Shanghai Film Festival. I was single. I was doing business. I was with a hedge fund, so I was making good money. I I I learned business in school. I wanted to not be a starving artist. Yes. Yeah, I want to have enough money to pay for the best acting training, to go to the gym, to think to actually be a human because I hustled so hard in college. I worked at nine jobs, the Craigslist jobs, taking care of old ladies in bed who has autoimmune disease. I changed her diaper. <laughs> it was brutal. And I drive around a blind lady. She, she realized I was Asian. Like, oh, I don't want an Asian woman driving me. I'm like, you're, I'm like bitch, you're blind. <laughs> you know? So like, you can't afford a real person. So that's all you got. <laughs> <laughs> So I just the real I just know I've did all I I had to clean the bathroom because I I you know I work in the restaurants I have to do all the shitty jobs so I decided to not be poor. Yeah, so smart. So it was good. I learned acting. I was auditioning, and I I I mean John Singleton got me in comedy actually. He did. He did. He literally he just uh, he I auditioned for him for um, Rebel. It's a TV show about uh, uh, this girl, a black girl. She's a cop, and her set kick. Sidekick is an Asian girl who knows Kung Fu. Mm -hmm. It's in like a, like Oakland, the, the movie, the TV show. It's, it's like, it's rush hour with a low budget. Yeah. You know, black woman, Chinese woman. But, you know, I thought I did good. I got a call back and a second call back. And then he saw me. He just, uh, he said, do some improv. I start saying things. He started laughing. I think I was dropping jokes. I just, I just do that. And then he's like, you should do stand-up comedy. He walked over me. He was playing Ali Wong's little clip. He's like, you should do stand-up comedy. You're going to be a star. I just heard that. I was so shocked. I knew who he was. I watched Boys in the Hood. Yeah. I said, oh my God, thank you so much. Do I have the job now? He said, hell no, bitch. I don't understand the word you said. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> but he got my number. He actually said, hey, go to an open mic. So he actually followed up with me. Wow. We had a general friendship. He was very honest. Like, you are not going to get the roles you want in movies, TV shows. Most people don't take a risk on somebody with a heavy accent who's not already a star. Yeah. But you are funny. If you actually going to invest time in your talent to develop it, I, I can see you becoming good in stand-up and you can do any movie you want when mm -hmm. you have a name. Amazing. And he actually followed up. We became, a, we became real friends. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's awesome. It was, it was, he literally just like, uh, I didn't know anything about stand up uh, because we don't have it in China. Right. Oh, of course. Yeah. They don't, you're allowed to do that. You know what you have in China right now? <laughs> this. Nice. Automated for men who are too embarrassed to masturbate in hospitals. I love how serious his face is. Yeah. Yeah. Like he and is I was like, man, that is fucking such a cool thing that the state. That's nice. But you're not embarrassed to stand in a hallway with 10 dick dick machines? You just stare at the wall. It's okay. I mean, yeah, it's like going to pee, I think. Yeah. Sit there. Oh, that's for China the guy with the tinier dong. That's nice. That's super nice. Oh, my God. Temperature, wetness, amount of light. They can Who speed it up. That thing, yeah. Oh, nice. And then you can just leave your deposit there. That's fucking That's cool. nice. That's yeah, so cool. That is friendly. That's I love China. That. That's amazing. I'm very proud. Yeah. yeah. Your people invented that. That's amazing. The other thing, though, the opposite of what I was going to tell you was like my algorithm on Instagram is wild, right? Because of the posts that I engage with. One thing that happens a lot is you see accidents, like car accidents and like people falling down <laughs> this in is China. This is Tom's favorite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, this but is the gone. thing you notice a lot, because I've seen so many of these clips in China, Fucking guys like uh, walking down the street, a car 
fucking clips him and he falls down. He's just like laying there. You're like, is this guy dead? And other people look and they keep walking. And I'm like, holy shit. That seems very culturally specific where they're just like, I don't know if he's dead. Walk in, right by. In China, there's a saying called a fubuchi. It's mm. like a, you cannot afford to lift somebody up because they would ask you to pay for all their medical oh, expenses yeah. and funeral expenses because in China, we don't have traffic rules. It's about human connection. You sense uh, red light is a suggestion. It's, uh, the traffic light is a suggestion. Like, yes. okay, that's cute, but I'm still going to go through it. Yeah. And uh, uh, the thing is that if you are jaywalking, a truck hit you, it's always the bigger vehicle's fault. Is there's no fault. Okay. The bigger vehicle is a fault. Is that fault? No matter some, what. No matter what. When somebody fall down, the person who's right next to that person is the uh, at fault. Is the criminal? Because Shit. why are you still there? Because you did it. <laughs> oh. So that's the idea behind not. Yeah. yeah. You can't engage because you are gonna get fucked. Right. Because then it's your fault, kind of. Yeah. Because if Damn. they run the red light, it's not their fault. The car <laughs> run away. You're and right. also sometimes like if the victim's family, they would block the traffic and uh, ask tips from all the traffic going through there because their uh, their son died there. They'll be like, my son died there. And the one of those big trucks did it. And you guys can't go through this road unless paying me tips. So they, uh, instead of insurance, they collect like 10,000 yuan to pay for the funeral. Wow. If you don't tip them, you can't go through. They just wow. block the road. God, you guys are hard fucking core. Oh, you just watched a YMH highlight. Did you love it? Why don't you have more fun? Click around. Click here. Click there. Click everywhere. Put a clicker in your b-hole. Look, trot out. Have more fun. Why don't you subscribe? That way, every time a video drops, you can be notified. You don't have to think about it. Just do it, man. You're not going to miss a moment of denim. Pull your jeans up. Subscribe.